Hey guys, this is a video about ketosis. I'm in my car. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually going, I got some coffee. So it's a long story about that. I'll explain that. I got coffee and I'm going Pokemon hunting. <laughs> I like to do that on Sunday mornings. I wake up early no matter what. Like I wake up at about six every day. So some new things. I'm drinking coffee again and my hair is now white, silver slash a little blonde. I like to change things up. <laughs> Anyways, I <clears throat> giving up caffeine completely is hard to do because every drink essentially in the world has some form of caffeine in it. So I'm back to one single cup of coffee coffee per day, and I feel like that's that's acceptable. I don't do two, and I don't do um, a big giant cup. So I'm getting about if I had to guess, I'm getting about 12 ounces of coffee a day, and it's just in the morning, just to you know help wake me up completely. I'm okay with that. I don't have this desire to have a dogmatic title of I don't drink caffeine. I just I get to the point sometimes where I cycle off of it if I feel like it's extreme. And the last time that I cycled off, it, it was extreme. I was doing two or three 20 ounce cups a day and was completely dependent. And now it's just one cup in the morning and I can do without the rest of the day. So I go through this all the time. I'll cycle off again if it ever gets extreme. <clears throat> But don't be mad at yourself. Like, I'm not mad at myself that I didn't stay off caffeine. I'm proud of myself for breaking it when I did. Um, and I'm okay. I just accept that flaw of myself. And you, you got to stay in a positive mindset. Because if, if I sit here and just told myself I was fucking mad because I didn't stay off caffeine, then I'm associating a negative mindset to the idea of caffeine. And that's self-defeating. Like... You almost have to program yourself. You almost have to lie to yourself until it's true. Fake it till you make it kind of thing and be like, you know what, it's cool. It's just one cup of coffee. Research shows one cup of coffee a day is good for you. It's not four like I used to have. So you got to tell yourself those things so that you spin a positive mindset on it. That's the only way that you can live with your decisions and be content and not dwell on them. So this video is not about that. Um, I'm in a band, so I change my hair every now and then. That's that's why it looks like this. This video is about ketosis. I've had people ask me in real life, and I've had people um, message me and say things in my other channels too um, about ketosis. Want to know? Ketosis is not the easiest way to eat. Um, ketosis is a diet that is primarily fats and proteins and, and very little, if if any, carbs. And I am pescatarian. Um, I've gone back and forth between vegan, pescatarian, vegetarian, ovo vegetarian, lacto vegetarian. Um, I like to be vegan. Uh, the food makes me feel better, but it's hard. It's just hard at this point. So I'm, I'm okay with being pescatarian for now. Again, no dogma for me. Um, so I'm primarily eating eggs, cheese, and fish. That's almost exclusively my diet. I eat peanuts as well. And I'm actually going to cycle some days where I do only organic peanut butter that has nothing in it but peanuts. Um, I might put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in there to help fatten it up but and make it a little creamier. But that'll give me like one or two just strictly vegan days and make me feel a little better about my decisions to do stuff like that. Um, but I've got those keto sticks. They're, they're, you can get them at Walgreens, Walmart, whatever. But they're little sticks that you pee on. And it tells you how many ketones are in your blood. And I'm in... It's taken me a week. This time, I've actually... This is my second cycle of ketosis now. Since I started a good month and a half, two months ago. So it's taken me a week to get back into pretty aggressive ketosis. It gives you a level of how dark... The little color is on your piss stick and um, it's 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 pretty cool because I've noticed on my fat measuring tool that I have I went from a 31.1 BMI I'm sitting now at a 29 BMI and this is about a month of progress and I've lost about eight pounds and <clears throat> I can tell I mean I can squeeze you know how you know if you're losing weight your fat gets like looser you've got fat that's less dense so it's like loose fat and i can feel that i can squeeze and it's way squishier than it was so i'm 100 percent losing 
fat and, and gaining muscle. I haven't measured, I usually measure like my arms, my chest, my legs and stuff like that. I've not measured in a month, so I think I'll measure today and see if there's any size increase on those, but I expect there won't be because there's been some fat decrease, so it'll probably come out of wash. But I don't know, I keep measurements. Um, I, I am working out and playing tennis and riding my bike when I, when I can. I'm, I'm not crazy dogmatic about that either. If I, if I feel like doing it, I do. If I don't, I don't. If, I, if I've worked too hard that day or I, my band's very active. So, you know, again, don't kill yourself over it. Celebrate it when you do it. I'm working out with weight resistance at least twice a week. And I'm working out with cardio as far as doing bike or whatever to something that makes me sweat at least twice a week. And I'm okay with that. Like I'm, I'm progressing with that at that rate. I'm not trying to say, oh, you're not, you're not going hard enough. You need to go four times a week. I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at right now. If I decide that it's not fast enough or I'm not getting results like I want, I'll change and I'll make it either more aggressive or a different specialized idea. So that's what you got to do. You got to self-evaluate. You got to see where you are. Be happy with results that you've gotten. If you've not gotten any results, then research what's going on with you and make some slight changes. And the key is to make changes you can stick with like going to a ketogenic diet is a not a slight change it, it's it's hard to not eat carbs because uh, carbs are in almost every food and we, we evolved eating carbs you know the majority of us unless you're an Eskimo and come from direct Eskimo descent didn't evolve on eating fat and protein exclusively so your body wants carbs um, and it's not a permanent like some people eat it because it's good for uh, epilepsy for life I think and I'm not gonna do that at all I don't I don't feel like that's necessary I use it as a tool to get to where I want to be in weight and then I'm going to <clears throat> resume a, a more balanced carb protein fat maybe closer to a, a 40 30 30 ratio so anyways there's my update um, I'm about to get my coffee finished here. I'm still sipping on it and go catch those elusive Pokemon. Okay. If I'm not anything, I'm a nerd if not anything. So you guys have a great week. I hope you're having uh, all kinds of success with your weight loss endeavors. Take it easy.